Hey everyone, how's it going? Just wanted to make a quick voiceover on the video I made of the 2019 GLA 250. For future reference, the videos in the future will not contain any exterior footage of the cars as the main focus for these videos I'm making is to concentrate on the interior of the cars and show you where all the buttons are and what they do. With that being said, I would like to suggest anyone that buys a new car to not be afraid of messing around with their new cars and touch every single button you possibly can so you can learn more about your car quicker. With that being said, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. further ado I'll go ahead and start with the doors. Uh, doors are pretty straightforward. You have the memory uh, setting 1, 2, and 3 um, and this is for the seat adjustments. Uh, on these CLAs and GLAs some of them you can't adjust the headrest. So next after the seats we have the unlock and lock buttons. We have the door handle on the bottom you have your left and right side view mirror um, I'll go ahead and turn on the car here soon um, but basically you just pick whatever side you want to adjust and adjust it with these bu this button right here next is the window switches um, window lock and on the bo very bottom of the door you have the trunk release button and on these particular models, um, not specifically just 2019, but older models as well, have these push to start buttons that you can take out. So if you don't like the push to start feature, uh, you could just take it out and use the key. So to start the car, just put on the brake, push to start. Turn on the car right now. All right, so on the left side of the steering wheel, right behind the steering wheel, you have a fan, and here are all of your headlight switches. And 2019 models will come with the headlights set on auto, so they're on automatic mode. You can manually turn them on. And next, right underneath, I don't know if you could tell, there is the parking brake. And basically, these newer cars have electronic parking brakes, so at the very top you can see the parking brake is on. If you want to release the parking brake, you just pull it and the parking brake is off. If you want to put it back on, you just simply push the button in and it puts it back on. Moving on to the stock, again on the left side of the steering wheel. Right behind it you have your blinkers, left, right, and the wind windshield wiper switches as well. So flip it over counterclockwise, it'll turn on the windshield, uh, windshield wipers on once. Uh, this little button is going to be for the rear. So if you hold it down, this sprays the windshield washer fluid. And I'll see if I can get it on this camera. There you go. And if you flick it up, it just sets it to, I guess, automatic mode where if it's constantly raining, it'll keep wiping off the water off of the rear windshield. Button on, very silver button at the very end <laughs> um, is for spraying the front washer fluid and um, this is kind of tricky because there's a little I guess gap between uh, the button and actually turning it on so I'm holding the button but if you push it down harder that's when it'll spray so you got to push down hard on that button uh, in order to activate the washer fluid and at the very bottom of the windshield wiper stock is the cruise control settings and for CLA and GLA uh, steering wheels, you don't have adjustable knobs. You have a little lever here that you can remove or 
loosen up and it lets you adjust the steering wheel. So push that back up and it locks in place. Next, I'll go ahead and talk about the gear shifter. So always put your foot on the brake when wanting to switch into any gear. Uh, the nice thing about these screens is that it also tells you what gear you're in when you're looking straight forward into the dash. Uh, again, I have my foot on my brake. To put it in drive, I'm going to push the lever all the way down and let it go. And here you will see that it says D1. And it'll always let you know what gear you're in. So um, a lot of people are worried that it just gets stuck in one gear and it tells you what gear it's stuck in. But uh, no, that's just normal for Mercedes-Benz. It tells you what gear you're in. So um, just get used to that. Um, reverse is going to be all the way up so I push it up and you will notice that the rear view camera uh, pops up as well so that's one, that's another way uh, that you can tell that you're in reverse also it says up here as well uh, if you want to go into neutral I'm in reverse right now so I'm just gonna lightly tap it once and I'm in neutral and it's the opposite. If I'm in drive and I want to go to neutral, I'll just lightly tap it once and it'll go back into neutral again. And very lastly, the parking button is right here. So you go ahead and push that in and it puts the car in park. All right. Next thing um, is going to be the steering wheel controls. Um, on the right side, it's pretty self-explanatory you have mute volume up volume down pick up the phone click that button to end the call just click that button and this is voice activation on the left side of the steering wheel you have the uh, buttons to control that center screen right there up down uh, backspace okay left right and I'll try and get into more in-depth um, with the, I guess, menus on these cars uh, later on in another video. Uh, right now I'm just showing the basics. On the left side of the screen, you have a your speedometer. Bottom gauge is gonna be the gas gauge. And on the right side, you just have your RPMs and your engine temperature. And very top is going to be the outside temperature and time so moving on next thing I'm gonna go through um, a lot of in my opinion in my experience I have never really used or touched any of these buttons here um, obviously this is a CD player so this is to eject them and this is to go through the tracks go forward or back there's a SD reader right there um, but again these are pretty self-explanatory you don't really use them as much as you would think um, I wouldn't be surprised if Mercedes kind of got rid of this here pretty soon I know on the 2019 C classes uh, you no longer have CD players um, anyways so next I will go to these buttons right here uh, first one is going to be your heated seat. You have three settings and to turn it off you just press it three times and it'll turn it off. So right here you have your vehicle data button. You press it, it tells you what dynamic mode you're in and if you press it again it'll uh, send you into I guess more options, individual configuration and vehicle data. So there is that. Next button is going to be dynamic select. Press that and here are the options uh, you have on this 2019 GLA. Uh, you have comfort, blah, sorry, I can't talk. You have comfort mode, sport mode, individual mode, off road mode, and eco mode. And they'll show up on here on the screen as well. If you click them more than once, you can scroll through all of the different settings. The next button you have is your hazards. Um, pretty self-explanatory this is the auto start stop uh, feature every time you turn your car on that feature will be on 
Uh, if you want to go ahead and turn it off, you can just press that button and it turns it off. And basically what that feature does is every time your car comes to a complete stop, uh, it'll shut down the engine in order to save gas. I don't, I personally hate that feature. I don't, I kind of think it's pointless. It doesn't really save that much gas in my opinion, but it is there. If you want to turn it off, just press that. The next button is going to be the DSR and that is going to be the downhill speed regulation. And next button is going to be again for the passenger side heated seat. And on the CLA and GLA models, um, the temperature is going to be here at the very bottom. These are all the controls. Pretty simple. You have your auto uh, zone. Zone kind of syncs both of these. So if I put mine to low and the passenger side is to 65, if you press zone, it'll automatically sync the passenger side to the driver side. Um, and then, and in order to change the temperature you just scroll up or down and next is going to be front windshield defroster on the very bottom you have your rear defroster you can choose to go up or down with that um, next one is going to be different modes um, what air direction you want it to go to uh, you can go to your feet or both you have a lot of options. Um, I normally keep it right there. Next is recirculating air. And very last one is AC. And you have your off button for the AC as well. And you have max cool. As far as the passenger side goes, you have the door handle. You have the window switch for that door. Um, seat adjustments and memory seats. I'll go ahead and show you guys what's up here. Buttons you have here is if you ever want to read while driving light switch is right there same goes for the passenger uh, this is for the rear lighting if you want to go ahead and turn that on it'll turn the lights in the rear this will turn on all of the lights in the car and this switch is to have the lights off with the doors open so it's a nice little feature um, I like to leave it right in the middle uh, you have a sun storage right there and this is going to be the um, sunroof switch so click it hard and that will go ahead and uh, retract that cover and if you press it once hard again it opens up the sunroof pretty straightforward and if you want to close it again just one hard click and if you want the roof, co uh, roof cover to also close just one hard click again and it closes it for you now the next thing I'm gonna go on to um, it's pretty simple uh, this is the what controls this screen you can scroll you can push this left or right up or down you have the back button and you have your home button. Um, so again, you can scroll through all of these main menus. And I don't know if I forgot about this, but this is the volume button. Um, and this is the power button for the screen. So if you want it off, you can turn it off. If you press it again, it'll turn back on. When you click on radio, you can scroll through the stations with this little scroller that you have down here. Have a lot of options um, when you click this button up or down uh, if you click down it'll show you all of these options now because I clicked down it'll go down to this little bar uh, so if I were to click up twice on this it'll take me to the top row and the top row lets you go through all of these if uh, you want to go to radio or media or telephone you can do that with radio, you have AM, FM, and satellite. Um, if you want to switch between those, just click up, go to radio, and then click just click straight down on radio. And here it'll take you into another page, and you can uh, choose what station you want to go to. So you have FM, AM, oops, satellite, and that's pretty much it, and presets.
I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on FM. And I think that should be it for today. I don't wanna overwhelm you guys or put too much emphasis on every specific feature and button that this car does, but I just wanted to give you guys the basics on these cars and that should be it. Please comment down below if you uh, want me to do more informational videos. I'm more than happy to do that. Uh, just know that they will be longer videos because I will be going more in depth. Alright, that should be it guys. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video.